All right, so I made $2 million with investing zero and not even having a business. So obviously, right away, you're going to think, oh, here's another stupid YouTube video from the last 300,000 that I watched that is going to tell me some crap that I'm not going to be able to do. Well, if you're a person that is not interested in starting their own business and is not interested and becoming a billionaire and doing all this other stuff you just want to have a job you just want to have a job and that's what you like i can tell you how to make a few million bucks i made way more than two million dollars but in one year i made 1.95 million dollars and i'm gonna tell you how i did it and how you can do it if you don't want to start a business and you want to be an employee there's two options you are going to be somebody that has a certain role or you are going to be in sales. Sales is a role too, of course, but I'm talking about commission. You're going to have salary only, maybe a small bonus. If you're an executive, you'll get a big bonus, whatever. Let's just say you're not an executive. You have like a marketing job, right? You're an email marketer or something like that. So you're going to have a job with a salary or you're going to have a job that has salary plus commission that's what i've done for 17 years right and i made a few million dollars doing that so i recommend i would recommend that you get into sales but i understand some people don't like that they don't think they can sell i strongly disagree with all of you i think the worse you think you're at sales i think probably the better that you would be because people don't actually like sales people because a lot of salespeople are not good. They're bad. They're pushy. They're whatever they are, right? They just want money and they don't know how to sell. More experienced salespeople are different and they're very good. But I think everybody can do sales. That said, those are your two options, right? You have a job with salary and then you have a job with commission. The only chance you have to make millions of dollars in your career, unless you plan on being a CEO and having these like crazy bonuses, the only chance you have to make a few million dollars as soon as possible is to join an early startup company that is raising money and offers stock options and has a good product. Joining a startup super early stage, do your research what that is if you have no idea what I'm talking about. When a business starts and it needs to grow, they get investors. Investors pay money, so those companies can hire people like me to sell their super expensive product. In my case, it's software, it's technology. That's what I've done. How do you get into a startup company? Let's just say you have no experience, right? You have no experience. You're just straight out of college. If you get any job out of college, that's a salary job, great. If you're having a problem finding a job, the easiest job to find is always a job that's commission only and that's sales. The easiest job to find and it's also a great way to get started. But if you don't want to be into sales, you'll get a job eventually. But once you get that job, whatever it is, right, you might start as an intern. You might get a job that's, you know, has a low, a low base salary, which is normal and fine. You know, you're not going to graduate college and get a lot of money because you have a degree. Nobody cares. We all understand that. Looking for companies, right, whether that's your first job, which is also... I've seen it, I've seen it where interns that join a company that has 10, 15, you know, 30 people end up getting a permanent job, end up getting shares in the company, stock options, doing extremely well, staying at the company for years and years. So you need to look for a startup company that's raising money, that's raising money. I would say minimum like series A minimum series a so there's different rounds i'm not going to teach you about that in this video but there's different rounds of investing when a company grows right so you have an angel investor round which is like getting money from friends and family and some people that have a bunch of money and they're investors individuals and then after that point you get into the series a b c d e so on and so on which are just rounds of investment and those are typically venture capital firms and private equity at later stages until the company goes public or it sells you can forget all that you can do your own research the point here is try to be the early employee possible at a company that you think is good and is raising money and do not go work there unless they give you stock options 
What are stock options? Stock options are like me giving you stock. Here is a hundred thousand stocks of Coca Cola. I give you that. You can sell it today. You have that money. You get that money, right? You can wait and sell it later. But stock options are actually worth nothing until the company sells or it goes public. When you get hired at a company, companies often and ask every single time, I would say often, not all the time, not all the time, actually not that often, depending on the company, unless you ask, they're not going to give it to you. But a company offers stock options to employees because they want you to stay at that company. What does that mean? I hired somebody. If they leave in six months, that's a huge cost. That's a loss. That is a loss for my company. So in order for me to have you, Jennifer, stay at my company for, you know, the longer the better if you do a good job, because obviously they make money on you. They make way more on you than you're going to make from them. In order for them to incentivize you to stay longer so you don't go work for a big company or whatever, change jobs, they give you stock options that vest in the course of four years. What does that mean? They give me 100,000 shares that vest over four years, hoping that I will stay there at least four years. But only 25% of those 100,000 shares that I got, I get every year. So after I work for 12 months, a company gives me 100,000 shares. After working 12 months, I have 25,000 that I can buy. They're worth nothing, but I can buy them. Year two, I can buy 50,000. Year three, 75,000. Year four, I can buy 100,000 shares. Waiting for these shares to vest, which means become purchasable by you is an incentive for you to stay there because somebody like a secretary from Google became stupid rich, stupid rich, because she was like employee number three. So that is a way that you can make a few million dollars like I did in a short amount of time early in your career. If you stay at that company, you have those stock options. They could be worth nothing, but that's why I said pick a company where you're an early employee. I would say like if they're raising money at series A, the earlier, the better. Look for the least amount of employees as possible. Then if you do get an offer. You need to ask for stock options. I'm going to say that again because many companies will not give you those stock options. Jeff Bezos, when he started, Amazon. Amazon started taking off and so on. And he started it with a developer that was basically responsible for a lot of work, a lot of the work. And the company started blowing up like crazy. That guy, I forgot his name off the top of my head. He said, hey, why am I not a 50-50 partner? Why do I not have a lot of stock? And Jeff Bezos said, because you never asked. He lost billions, if not trillions. I mean, not trillions, obviously, but billions and billions of dollars just because he did not ask for stock options. So that is my best advice that you, I would not even work at a company that doesn't offer stock options if you are early in your career because they could be worth millions. So my example, I worked in software for 17 years. I made a few million dollars easily. I think like my highest year in commission was 450000 dollars in one year but i've made more than that throughout my career i made i don't even know how much money but with the stock options i have made two million dollars basically by doing nothing at a software company that is 100 going to sell or go public that's my advice for anybody that's starting their career that doesn't want to have a business that doesn't want to get into this crazy stuff if you're going to work if you're going to have a job you know what comes with that there are some bad things there are some good things. I don't know any good things really, but you can make a lot of money this way if you join the right company. So look for them, research them. When you interview, look at their investment schedule. What round are they on currently? Where are they at in their growth? Because once you fully vest these stock options, you can purchase them. And when the company goes public, the only thing you're waiting on is to see how much is the price of one share the company you worked for as your first job and you have a hundred thousand shares 
goes public like five years after you leave and one stock is worth $40 and you have 100,000 shares, that's $4 million for you in your pocket. So give me another example of where you can make $4 million like that with zero investment because you don't have to pay to get a job, at least in America, where you can make $4 million in the course of one year without investing $1 and having a business. All right, subscribe. See you in the next video.